What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero and welcome back to Let's Play Corpse Party in the last episode. We reunited, um, we had a nice little group conversation, it was very positive, there was no cat fighting between Naomi and Ayumi, and in this episode, apparently there's a hallway, and there's something lingering in this hallway, I'm not a big fan of the idea, but now we got this room we can explore, and I am very curious as many of you guys know, so let's not keep my curiosity any further, let's satiate this curiosity by entering the doorway. To find what? Oh, that's right, this is the exclamation, or not the exclamation, but the question mark room. This is like really tiny classroom, and then the next room, oh, that's right, the next room is like the black magic room. Yes, it's got the, it's got the star, but now we've got Yoshiki with us. Something wrong? Oh no, not, nothing's wrong, everything's just perfectly fine, there's nothing out of the ordinary about this room. What? <laughs> This room seems to be set up for black magic or witchcraft or something. <laughs> Wait, Yoshiki, are you kidding me? Yoshiki, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was just making fun of you as like a joke, like, oh man, like, how could you not see that, Yoshiki? Are you kidding me? How do you figure? I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Come on, we should keep moving. You said there's a presence out by the incinerator, right? No. She said out by the- in this hallway. She didn't mention an incinerator, Yoshi. Uh... Oh, we got a decision? We have a decision already? This is just the beginning of the episode, Corpse Party. You can't make me do this. Ah, oh, man. I should have- I should have made this the cliffhanger. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um... You go on ahead sounds like a bad idea. It just does. Right? Like, like it just sounds like a bad idea. Why would we split up? But at the same time, I feel like there's something to investigate here. Yet at the same time, I feel like whatever result it is, it's probably going to end up in a death. <sighs> you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to my words. I'm going to take my own advice. We're not going to split up. Let's go. Wait. Wait, what? Did I... Did I pick the wrong one? Like what? Are you kidding me? Actually, how about you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, but don't take too long. Did I did I pick the wrong one? Did I seriously pick the wrong one? I I, I want to look back at the footage and take cuz I'm pretty sure I picked the one that was like, "All right, let's go." Huh? What was that voice just now? I didn't say any of that. Shinozaki. Shinozaki. Oh no. Oh no. Shinozaki. Hey, Shinozaki. No, and apparently... Oh no, the door is locked. And she's the one who felt the presence. Maybe someone possessed her for a little bit to have her say that? What? What is it? Or is there something in the hallway that's trying to get at Yoshiki? No. God, no. Kishinama. Kishinama kun. Am, am I trapped in here? Open up. Come on. Yeah, now we don't even hear Yoshiki responding. Somebody open the darn door. Come on. Please. <gasps> Yui Sensei Hype! Yui Sensei Hype! Oh, maybe that's the presence that um that Ayumi was talking about earlier. I, I'm still not going to let my guard down. Not for one second. But, Sh Shinozaki? <laughs> Daw, Yui Sensei. Am I ever glad to see you? And alive, no less. Are you alright? Oh, now I'm hearing Yui Sensei's voice. If this turns out to be a fake too, I'm really going to lose it. As if you haven't already, Ayumi. What are you talking about? Come on, over here. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. I don't know about this. Is Yui Sensei? Do you know what game this is? 
<laughs> do, do you really know what game this is? You sensei, there's nothing to fear anymore. You are in Corpse Party. It really is you. Where have you been all this time? We've been worried sick. I'm so sorry. It must have been terrifying in here all by yourself. Huh? Oh god, Yui-sensei, you're injured pretty severely too from the looks of it. Yeah, that would be pretty concerning. Oh no, we got one of these earthquakes. We got one of these earthquakes again. Huh? Oh no, I don't like this at all. My arm is in bad shape. Shirozaki, come on, stand up. We're getting out of here. See, like, Yui Sensei is a good leader. I would trust Yui Sensei as a leader. What? No! No! Did the floor just collapse? Like, the whole floor? Quickly, grab hold of my leg, climb up my body! Oh my goodness, Yui Sensei is holding on with one arm, and then we got Ayumi. Oh no, this is not good. Not a good situation at all. Yui Sensei, no! Quickly! Oh no, oh no. There's no way they're both making it out. There's no way they're both making it out. No, not after we just rejoined Yui Sensei. No, I can't support both our weights with one arm for much longer. My fingers are... No. Hurry, Shinozaki, you'll fall in two. I... I know. My fingers... I can't... Hold on. No, no. <gasps> Yui Sensei. Oh my goodness, Yui Sensei moved her other arm, her super injured arm, and is using whatever she can of that despite all the pain to hold on longer so to buy Ayumi time. <gasps> Come on, you're almost there. Ayumi, as soon as you get up, you better turn around and grab Yui Sensei's arm and pull with all you can to get her up. Yo, Yoshiki. Yoshiki coming through. Yoshiki, yo, you gotta run in there real fast and pull Yui Sensei up. You're like probably the only one who can do it. Yui Sensei! Yui Sensei! Grab her hand! No, don't. I'll climb up on my own. This floor could collapse at any moment. You two need to get out of here. Oh, no, Yui Sensei, don't do this. Don't do this, Yui Sensei. We know. We know that she's not going to be able to climb up. But. Do it. And Kishinuma, take care of Shinozaki. Yeah, Yui Sensei. Shinozaki, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yui Sensei! Oh no! The despair! Shinozaki, be strong! No matter what happens, be strong! You have abilities that can outmatch anyone else's. And once you get out of here, I know everything's going to work out just fine. You know, with that dream of yours we were talking about. Oh no, these are like the final words. These are the goodbyes. No. No. Bible thumbs for Yui Sensei. Now get the heck out of here! Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? Go! Now! Oh no! 
And she's already slid like halfway down the floor too. No, Yui Sensei. Oh man. No, Bible thumbs for Yui Sensei, guys. Bible thumbs for Yui Sensei. Like I don't I don't think she lived that. Like I really just don't think she lived that. Shinozaki, come on, we have to move. Let go of me, I don't care anymore. Oh my god, Amy, stop doing this. Stop doing this every single time, Amy. Gosh darn it. Right after, like, Yui Sensei, who died saving you, told you, be strong, no matter what happens, be strong. And you're just like, I don't care anymore. Then, I don't know, Yoshiki might have just should have gone in there and grabbed Yui Sensei and let you fall. Like, jeez. Listen, you may be willing to let Yui Sensei's sacrifice go to waste, but I'm not. Man, Yoshiki and I are on the same wavelength. This is what she meant when she said, be strong, darn it. <laughs> Yoshiki, are so, we're so on the same wavelength. I don't even remember like thinking so similarly to him the first time I played this game. Huh? Oh my, wait. Uh. Hold up a second, Corpse Party. Hold up a second. Who is this? Who is this? Why are they here? We can't run. There's no choice. What are we... What? It's... The principal. Huh? I'm so confused. What a strange looking incinerator. Almost seems like something you'd see in a crematorium. It's almost like it's being used for bodies and not just like paper and such. What's that? Looks like somebody threw something in there that's very yellow. That's very yellow. What would be thrown in there that's very yellow? Maybe like a key of some sort? Maybe it's one of the statues? That's all I can really think of. You can see a yellow ribbon a few feet in, covered in soot. Huh. I think it's the ribbon from... From Sachiko's dress. But it's just out of reach. Oh no. Oh no, the game is going to have us go in the incinerator. I don't know if any of you guys have seen Saw. I actually have not watched or sat through any of the entire Saw movies, but I've seen some clips and such. And there's this one particular part where... In order to get like a key to like survive or whatnot, to like unlock the next room, you have to put yourself in an incinerator. And the key is like tied to like a string on the very top. And when you pull the king the key to get it off, you turn on the incinerator. But by that time you're fully in the incinerator and you close the door at the same time. And so you have to try to escape within like 30 or 40 seconds or something like that while you are being burnt alive inside an incinerator. And uh Yeah. That's um that's all I can think of right now. So it's not looking too great. Arms not quite long enough. Can Yoshiki reach? Or is he or his arms just, just simply too big to even like fit or what? Huh? Huh? I don't like that. What was that? From the darkness within the incinerator. The figure of a girl can faintly be seen. She's squatting with hands around her knees. That noise, that sound effect. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm out of here. I, I've, I've, uh, I've, uh, got a thing, you know. Whoa! It's, it's Sachiko. Upon meeting your gaze, she spins in place and begins crawling deeper into the machine until she vanishes from sight. Oh no! I'm surprised they didn't animate that or show any sort of like art for that. What the heck? It's pretty cramped in there, but it looks like maybe, with a little effort, you could crawl down pretty far through this thing. Hmm. Actually, look over there. There's a tiny pinprick of light. 
It might be a room or something. Yeah, good elite as any. I mean, admittedly, like, I would sit there, I would probably think about it for a few more minutes, really come up with it, look back at the hallway, and see if I could jump it, look back at the other room, and then, like, if this is literally the only way to go, and it makes sense, then I would be down to go inside this incinerator. <laughs> Wait, are you nuts? This is an incinerator! What if somebody lights it up while we're inside? Huh. Good point. Okay, you wait here and I'll go by myself. Interesting. That's an interesting, like, decision, right? Because now you're arguably entrusting Ayumi. And I don't know if we can really trust her mentality at this point. Outside with potential to turn on this incinerator, maybe. Or unless the switch is on, like, the other side or something like that. I don't exactly know how this incinerator would be turned on, which is kind of scary in and of itself. But... Naturally, he decides to go knowing that if there is a loss, if this does backfire, it's not an entire loss. That said, if it succeeds, how are you going to be able to reap all the rewards of that success without both people there, right? Ali. Okay, fine, I'll go too. Oh, <laughs> naturally, I mean, just decides against whatever logical decision Yoshiki comes up with. <laughs> I told you to wait at the top. At the top? Oh, so you're climbing down. No way. I'm coming with you. Darn it. Well, be careful here, okay? There are some pretty thick clumps of dust and ash that you'll get yourself caught on if you don't watch out. I wonder what that presence was. Right? Um, because Ayumi said that there was a presence in the hallway. Was it the principal? Was it Yui-sensei? Was it Sachiko in the incinerator? I'm actually pretty curious. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so now they're, they're crawling through this incinerator. I, I, I don't know. I don't trust Corpse Party with this. I don't trust Corpse Party with this one bit at all. And? Darn, it's tight squeezing here. We've come pretty far, but it seems like we're still only about halfway. Maybe it's because the ceiling's so low that I can't even come close to standing up, but I've honestly never felt this uneasy before in my life. Pretty safe to diagnose claustrophobia at this point. Yeah. If the exits all get blocked, I could wind up stuck in this position forever. Yeah, I know. They really risk a lot, not knowing all the ghosts and everything. Okay, finally the loud group of girls outside this room that were talking so loud. So loudly uh, has left, so here we are back again. Um, ah, what the heck is wrong with me? I shouldn't think about things like that. Yeah, I mean, at this point, that is kind of fair, right? Yoshiki doesn't really have much control over the situation. There isn't really much he can do about it. He's already committed to it. Man, my elbows are sore as all heck. Yeah, no kidding. Can't be that surprising though. There's just so much dust inside, you know, of all things, an incinerator. Never seen so much dust and ash before. We can't keep breathing this in. Yeah, it'd probably be better to throw some sort of like handkerchief over or like bandana over your mouth before going in there. Ow. Hey, you all right? What'd you bump into? Something important? Oh no. Just freaked my hand a little. There's some kind of metal wire in here. That's odd. And probably a little dangerous. Good to know. Oh, it seems like there's a meeting. 
by some sort of sorority in the in the room next to me. So they just keep passing in and out of the doors and it, making all these clicking sounds. It's so annoying. But more importantly, we got Sachiko telling us to turn back. I don't like this. We saw Sachiko go ahead of us, so we don't know if this means that she's controlling the incinerator or she even can control the incinerator. If she can close us in here, this could be bad. This could be an order we don't necessarily want to go against. <laughs> Please, turn back. <laughs> Yet at the same time, there isn't really much to turn back to, right? Oh no, we have to decide. We have to decide. I don't like this. I don't like this. The thing is, if we turn back, there's nothing to go back to, right? Like, there simply just isn't anything else to go back to. There's that room. There's the hallway. But, like, I think we have to keep going. I think we have to keep going. Well, that clinches it. There's definitely something in here. Come on. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't I don't disagree with that. But you gotta think, like, I don't know. Does Sachiko have some sort of influence over whether or not you live or die in this very moment? Oh, okay. Turn back. Stay away. Her in Japanese is getting more, like, rude. Um... What? What? Wait, what? I just heard like the blood sound effect, the red screen flash? Didn't I tell you to turn back? What? Did we just like die? In such an anticlimactic, like stupid way? No. No. Oh wait, where'd the pentagrams go? No, shoot, I know it. I just know that we're screwed now. We're so screwed now. There's no way. There's no way this is gonna turn out well. Oh, I know we just messed up something. There's no way that's gonna turn out well. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. What are we even supposed to do with Satoshi now? We go back to the other place? Like what? Oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> There's no way this is going to turn out well. Did we just die? Did we get injured? Did we get kidnapped? Like, what's going on? I don't even know. How are we going to find them? What are we supposed to do with Satoshi and Naomi and Yuka? Right? Like... Oh, boy. I, I can almost tell we're doomed. Let me know in the comments, you guys. What do you, what do you think our fate is? Do you think we're screwed over? Do you think that's supposed to happen? Like, what do you think would have happened if we said turn back? If we turned back, we would have had nowhere to go to, right? Like, I, I don't really see anything wrong with my reasoning, really. But I also, like, if we died, I figured it would be via, like, incineration. Or, like, they would have closed the doors on us or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> But it doesn't seem like a very good situation. Every bit of my wrong end senses are tingling. And like, I don't know what else to do, right? Like, can we do anything else here? Like, I don't think anything changed, right? Like, we went there a different way. I don't think we can access the incinerator somehow. Can we... I don't, I don't know what else to do. Like, what's changed about our situation with Satoshi, right? That's, like, another big question. We don't have anything, like, shaped like this. Can we go in here? Um, we can't, like, take the marble statue back. Do we have to go into the second wing? Is that what we have to do? I don't know. It's confusing. Do you guys have an idea of what to do? I certainly don't. Was this open before? Oh yeah, this just leads to the second uh, second wing. Maybe we do have to go to the second wing. What? What? Did the principal just jump? Oh no. Oh no, that's just gonna instill panic. That's gonna cause everything to go nuts. W what the heck did we just see? 
おそらく天神小学校の校長だ。He leaped from the roof of the building, so I'm guessing that was the principal of Heavenly Host. But like, why would such an apparition, right, appear? Because that's gotta be an apparition. Huh? Is he like forced to perpetually do that? Is like a punishment of some sort? Oh god. Yuka, meet it. Yuka, don't look. Is it just. Is it gonna happen again? Wow. Yeah, I doubt he can ever find rest after what he did, so he's just reliving his death over and over again. Yikes. That's horrible. Wait, what's that? What's what? Looks like a key. Was was he holding a key of some sort? Hmm. Yeah, but a key to what? I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> Make sure you look up before you go grab it. Don't, it's too dangerous. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. I feel like you screwed it up, guys. I feel like you screwed it up. I'll be alright. I'll wait for my chance, then rush in and take it. I mean, like, that definitely seems doable. Yikes. That's gotta be rough to kind of desensitize yourself to that, to look at that, and then run and grab the key and then go. <laughs> she get out of there, Sadashi. Got it. What the? Man, it's a lot smaller than it looked from back there. Is it to a desk or something? Huh, so we got the principal's key. Yo, you gotta get out of there, Sadashi. Hurry. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with Nami here. Okay, you got it. Now get back here, Satoshi. Huh. Okay, so... It looks like it goes to a desk or something. Where can we find a desk to go to? We were just rewarded for going this way. I am going to save because I think we I think we either screwed something up huge or we're now back on the right path. But either way, we made a decision that I think was a pretty big decision. So, we're going to we're going to save in a new file just to be safe. Hmm, I don't know. Where do we, where do we think this can go? There is a principal's room, right? It looks they said it looks like it goes to a desk or something. Which makes me think that it's not going to take us directly to a room of some sort, but I do want to try the the principal's room. I think it was on like the third floor, maybe, of one of these stairwells. Maybe we'll find out what happened to uh, Kizami at some point. I can't imagine it turned out very well, but... Okay, let's take a look up here, potentially. Can we, can we go in here? The key recovered from Principal Yana Yanagi Hori's body was for his office door after all. It turns easily and the door swings open. <gasps> so we got a new area, new area hype. Oh, we got something important I'd imagine. <laughs> what is going on in this room? Huh? I didn't mean for it to happen. It was just a temporary lapse in judgment. What is this? She's the one at fault. She clearly overreacted to the situation. Huh? What situation? Yo, I need some answers. I'm cold. I think that's supposed to be a sign that there's like a ghost of some sort. Look at all the papers on the walls in here. There's definitely something off about this place. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't take a lot to say that. Well, they did say the principal suffered some sort of mental collapse before he died. Yeah, that definitely seems to be the case. But what's this purple thing here? She's the one at fault. Hmm. And look at all these papers. 
She clearly overreacted to the situation. Oh, I don't like this at all. The inside surfaces of the cabinet are completely covered with painted on letters. They spelt the same rambling sentences over and over again. For your tomorrow, I pray. I pray for a bright future. Hmm. What could that possibly mean? Can we, can we interact with this? What is this? What is it? There's a small hemp bag in the desk drawer. Absolutely slathered with blood. Oh no. Oh no. Big brother? I have a bad feeling about this. Yuka, don't look. Yeah, no. You're not the only one with a bad feeling about this, Satoshi. A human tongue sits at the bottom of the bag, all dried up and stiffened with age. <gasps> Yet again, interrupted. Um, but, oh man. What? What is it? Huh? What is going on? What are we listening to? What's going on, Corpse Party? Tell us, please. Takamine. Oh, are we getting a flashback? Are we going to be able to experience some of his last memories or something like that? Hmm. My boy. Every night, every single night, the same dream. Oh, so we're getting a flashback. Maybe this is, um, remember the principal went crazy of some sort, right? I deeply regret what I did. I can't even truly express how ashamed I am. But how much are you going to make me suffer for it? Huh? <laughs> Okay, yeah, so it's pretty clear his mentality, his, uh, his mental fortitude is slipping. Oh, I understand. I get it. You're not really dead. You're just pretending. <laughs> what? But think of the position you're putting me in. I can't allow you to tell another living soul about what I did to you. Huh? So I'm afraid I'm going to have to fix it so you can't ever say another word again. No, don't tell me... He cut the tongue out of... and potentially started all this. Oh no, yeah, Takamine... Takamine cracked. You like that? You like that? If I ever see you in my dreams again, I'll be back. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. Yikes. I feel like he's talking to Sachiko. I feel like he's the one who triggered it, right? Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Whatever that dream was, whatever that memory was, that's not good. And that really just... Brings everything even deeper, right? The darkness, the despair, the the evil that kind of triggered all this. We're just unraveling this bigger, bigger string of events. Satoshi, Satoshi. Big brother. Are you okay? You suddenly stopped talking and neither one of us could get any response out of you. Oh, Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm okay. I was just watching some unpleasant memories unfold. 
Not yours, though, luckily. Huh? Yeah, inside this bag is Sachiko's tongue. Yeah, it seems like Sachiko was the first person to be tortured to really be poorly treated. That's barbaric. I think we should give this back to her. I'm sure she must be looking for it. <gasps> Maybe that's key to getting her to express regret, right? Maybe she's one of the souls that's holding all this together. Like the previous ones. Give it to Sachiko? So we got Sachiko's tongue. Okay, so I guess that's the next thing we need to do. We can move out of here. Um, and I think we, we have a new thing. to We have a new goal, right? Do you guys still think we screwed it up? Do you think we messed it up? Do you think Yoshiki and Ayumi are going to die? Do you think we're going to be doomed to some sort of wrong ending now? What do you guys think of the whole Takamine thing? The whole uh, the horror of him like jumping off and everything. And then the memories. What do you think happened? How do you think... It's, it clearly seems like he had a bad relationship with Sachiko somehow. And somehow they were connected, but we don't know exactly how yet. Man, there's a, there's a lot to look forward to. But of course, as you might anticipate, we're going to do so in the next episode. I'm uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Things are starting to piece together at the same time, though. We're learning more and more, and the mysteries continue to appear. So, it's... Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. That's the best way to put it. I'm excited. But until the next episode, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>